Joined now, of course, by Al Golden, the head coach at Miami. Coach, heading into year three now, what are the biggest question marks going into camp? Well, I think the overriding question mark is obviously we need closure uh, on the NCAA uh, investigation. I think that, that's going to provide a great relief for us moving forward. As it relates to our team, I think uh, just uh, to take the next step now, to be mature enough to take the next step, to block everything out, just stay with our process, and, uh, and really trust that for the whole season. How do you do that with kids that are 18 to 22, frustrated by the NCAA process? How do you help them do that from a leadership perspective? Well, I think, number one, you lead by example. And I think uh, from the president to our athletic director, Blake James, uh, our staff, I think we've led by example. I think we've operated with class and integrity uh, and transparency through the whole investigation. Uh, and I think the kids have followed our lead. I, you know, again, we haven't taken any shots at, at the process at all. We've trusted it. Uh, we've been partners with it. Uh, in terms of the joint inquiry, and, uh, and now, we'll, uh, now we'll move forward. There's been talk of a potential meeting at the end of the season to discuss changes that need to be made to the NCAA. There's no doubt pretty much everybody agrees that the system is somewhat broken. Question now is how do you fix it? What would your main suggestion be? My, I guess the biggest suggestion for me for the 125 Division I football programs would be to let's all invest uh, in NCAA infractions and compliance and let's have an officer in every on every campus and uh, I think what we'll find then is that there's a lot of coaches that want to teach life skills that want to teach leadership that want to teach uh, you know kids what they need to be successful in every facet of their life that believe in education uh, that are teaching things the right way doesn't mean we're less competitive uh, and again that's part of the fabric of of this you know United States of America is the you know, to be, to be competitors. We want to teach that with the young people. But we're, we're trying to teach life skills and how to win in, in every endeavor. And, uh, and I think they would see that uh, our mission and our values and our goals are commensurate with theirs. Coach, despite the cloud of uncertainty from the NCAA right now, you've got an exciting football team to watch, starting with your quarterback, Stephen Morris. A lot of people have been talking about him. How have you seen him develop, especially from last year to this year? Well, Sam, I, know, I think you know something about quarterbacks. But I think in terms of Stephen, uh, you know, he's, he's gone from a kid that had to learn the game from rote memory, but now has found a silver lining because he had three offensive coordinators in college. He's learned the game conception. So his football IQ, his mental acuity in terms of the game is, is really at elite level. I think the thing that sets, you know, sets him apart, he's got the feet and the athleticism, but he also has an elite arm. He's got great velocity and range and, uh, you know, He's obviously one of the, the best leaders that we have. And, and to top it all off, he's an AFCA good works, you know, in terms of what he does in the community service. He's a, he's a representative for us in that capacity as well. So just a great leader in every facet for us. Offensively, we saw a lot of excitement. Defensively, I know you wanted to make some changes this last year. What are the things that you think need to change in order to get the defense where it needs to be? I think the biggest thing is, is to, was to not change, was just to take all the young kids, the 14 or 15 freshmen that we played over there, is just to quiet their minds down, settle them down a little bit. And uh, I felt different about the defense in the spring. There was a calmness, they were, they were communicating more. Uh, and then, of course, getting Curtis Porter back and, 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 and then getting everybody another year in the weight room. Denzel Perryman kind of grew up on the stage for us, played at 218 and then, uh, excuse me, 208 and then 212. Well, he's 243 now. Jimmy Gaines is 240. Uh, Alex Figueroa is 238. So, again, we're starting to look. You know, Anthony Ciccolo, who's another guy who played for us at 45 and 50, is now 75. So those kids had to grow up and were forced to play before they were ready. Uh, but now they're, they're settled in, they know the system, and uh, we're excited about who we have coming back for us on defense. All I know is I wish I could be in an industry where if you gained weight, it helped out. <laughs> Did everybody see that? That was like kind of a chop you had going there. Oh, right? I'm sorry. Oh, so I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that here. I know that's offensive. Coach, we appreciate your Thank time. You, Good Sam. luck this appreciate season. It. We Thanks. hope it all gets figured out very soon. Thanks. Thank you.